Hello everyone, it's Roid Man, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time, we defeated Guard Armor, learned some magic, learned some new abilities, and got ourselves two new party members, and now off to a new adventure. So, one of the ways you can actually exit this world is just going through the door, but you can also exit through a save point. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. The more star means stronger heartless in that world. So there is no particular order to go in this, but it shows that this is a one star while this is a two star. And if you press square, um, yeah, we might as well view the tutorial. It's been a while since I've done this, so. Um, let's build a gummy ship by following a blueprint. To build a gummy ship, select garage. To fly different ships, or re rename ships, select Gummy Ship. Now let's take a tour of the Gummy Garage. First, pick a blueprint from the list. The list contains blueprints you have collected and those you can redesign. The blueprints you collect can't be renamed. Make sure you have enough parts. Select the blueprint to enter the garage. In select mode, the block you want to attach. Without a cockpit, an engine, a ship cannot fly. Pressing the left and right changes classes up, down, changes parts. Found your block? Then press X or R1 to go to build mode. In build mode, select where to place the block. Move the block with L1, L2, and the directional buttons. Showing with a good example. Left stick rotates blocks, right stick rotates the build area. Press X to attach the block. You may not be able to attach big blocks at times. Press circle to cancel attachment. If you get lost, press select to view help. Now let's switch to inspect mode with the R2 button. Examine your creation in, in, in ex, inspect mode. Check various stats as you, you build your ship. That's about it. The rest is about learning and by doing. If you need help, go to the help menu or press select. So yeah, we could easily build a new gummy ship. But the problem is, if we look at our inventory, all we have are like a few pieces that we can't really do much with. Which I don't know what that is. But yeah, we get, do get blueprints, and I will show off on how you can get these, but right now we don't have much to build with. But trust me, this is a fun feature to mess with. So, later on I will show you like what my destruction of chaos would be because I remember building a ship that destroys a lot. But for right now, we can't do much with that. So, how about we go to the one star area? We travel to different worlds on the gummy ship. The Heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during flight. Control the gummy ship with the left analog stick. Tilt it up to descend, tilt it down to ascend. The blue gauge shows the power level. Firing lasers, among other things, consumes power. The green gauge shows the strength of the armor. 
if it reaches zero, it's back to the departing point. So, as you can see, we can basically shoot, and basically it's our typical space shooter. Make sure you grab items. They become very important, and I do recommend that you try to shoot down some of these. It's going to get a little hard to get used to these controls because I'm not going to try to change them off the bat. And keep note of some of these ships. You can actually buy the blueprints of some of these ships later on. Which I will show later. Unfortunately, yeah. Right now it's not too hard of a battle. Ooh, definitely want to grab that. Any of those blue orbs you want to grab. Otherwise, just shoot to your heart content. We don't have the greatest gummy ship in the world, but... At the time being, it's the best one we can work with. So let's see if we can actually pull off a Star Fox and go through all these loops. Nope. I mean, technically, yes, we did, but at the same time, we didn't get everything. As you can see, I'm constantly just holding the X button. You don't. You can just hold it and it will fire. We don't have any special weapons, so that power gauge is currently useless. Eventually, we will get weapons that we can use, and trust me, it goes in part with my destruction of... Pain. Uh, well, more or less my destruction ship because, like I said, I do have a ship design that basically will destroy all, anything thing without even having to move the ship. But here we are. Sometimes I just like firing at the ship, at the world. And we're here at Wonderland, so let's disembark. check around the area first. There is a green Trinity mark we can't really do. But for those who know th who this, what this movie is based on, we just saw a little white rabbit. So how about we go and follow it to this room? Okay. Right now, we don't know where that white rabbit went, except through that door. So how about we go and interact with that door? How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. <laughs> that tracks! Mm. <sighs> Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, Ooh. what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. So, before we try the bottle, I'm gonna just save you a headache right now because there's a certain thing that that doorknob's not telling you. And each this room's way too big. You want to go over here because it gives you the action to push. That will save you a headache later on, so how about we take a drink? And now we're small! So what does that mean? Oh, well, I see a little box foreshadowing something. It means we can now go get to that area. What the door did not warn us about is that the Heartless are also this small. Say hello to a new type of Heartless, the Red Nocturne. They can fire fire magic. Don't fire 
fire magic at it. They don't... They resist the fire. If anything, you, you can reflect the fire back at it. You can actually stun it for a little while. Oh, why am I not... Also, they drop magic! So this is one of the few enemies you can't use fire magic on. Okay, so... That takes care of those Heartless. But we saw more! And yes, I still recommend that you fight every Heartless that you see right now. And right now, you do see that I'm not really using the lock-on button. So, oh, they're not that hard to beat, it's just they only introduce like a magic type user. And we got some more HP, yay! I'm collecting all this money as possible. Okay, how about we go and talk to this door now? Um, door? Yeah! No matter how much you try, it's just gonna be asleep forever now. So, how about we go through the secret passage that we opened? There's no doubt about it. And the reason is... Because I say so, that's why... That is so unfair. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Silence! You dare defy me? Hey, guys. We should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh-huh. It's the heart one. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail and it's off with all of your heads. Gather as much or little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're ready. So, looks like we're now playing lawyer with Alice's life on the line. And we need to go and collect evidence. So next time on Kingdom Hearts, we're going to go and collect that evidence. 